know, when you go for your yearly checkup, which I hope you do, you don't exactly go in thinking, yeah, I'm going to come out of there with breast cancer. But um, for some people, that's the reality. Hi, my name is Tammy Vaughn, and I am a four-year, almost, breast cancer survivor. Never thought I'd say those words. Never thought I'd get to four years after I heard the words breast cancer, but that is my reality. And usually when you go for that checkup, you don't take a friend with you because you don't think you're gonna get that diagnosis. And that was my reality the day that I went. And I went in and got my mammogram and they saw something they didn't like and they took me in for an ultrasound and they saw something they didn't like and diagnosed me right then and there with what was likely to be breast cancer and later was. My physician had prayer with me right then and there and of course I was sobbing. While this was happening, tragically, a friend of mine uh, was involved in an incident where she was incarcerated and had gone to jail. In the midst of that 180 days is when I got my breast cancer diagnosis. And so in one of the letters that I sent to her jail, um, I revealed to her that I had been diagnosed with breast cancer and of course in a response back from her she couldn't believe it and a few days later I got in the mail a book called Dear Friend. I had no idea what it was. Um, this came from my friend's mother who was a breast cancer survivor and she wrote for me on the dedication page um, to Tammy with warm healing thoughts and love from Pat. And I opened the book up and inside of it I found a compilation of handwritten letters that had been put together, some from breast cancer survivors, but not all. Some are just from families of breast cancer survivors. Some are just from like Girl Scout troops or just maybe Pathfinder groups. My friend's mom had sent this to me to read all at once. Well, I immediately went online to look at this organization, Girls Love Mail, and saw that you can write in yourself. I immediately set at work writing letters. I think that year I wrote something like 289 letters that I sent off to the Girls Love Mail organization. I, of course, didn't get one the day that I was diagnosed, but one day that I was in there for a revisit, I um, saw the stack sitting there, so I took one just to see what it was like, and it just says, Girls Love Mail, the enclosed gift was written by a concerned friend as part of the Girls Love Mail program. The goal of Girls Love Mail is to give you support and encouragement through a handwritten letter. We hope you find their words uplifting. And so I took it home, and I opened it up, and my letter, was written by a young lady named Delilah. I don't think she gives her, oh yeah, she does, 11 years old. This is the Girls Love Mail stationery you can print out or you can just make your own card. I always made my own. Um, it says, Dear Fighter, my name is Delilah. I am 11 years old. I am writing to you because I want you to know that I care. My wish for you is to get better. Have faith that you will get better soon. Sincerely, Delilah. Oh, that makes me a little teary. Um, anyway, that would be the kind of thing a newly diagnosed woman would get as she's sitting there all by herself. Um, the first time I came into the office after I had gotten our clinic signed up, the secretary said, Tammy, Tammy, come in here. I want to tell you a story. And so I went in, she goes, we finally got our first batch of Girls Love Mail letters. And she said, I have to tell you something so interesting that happened. She said, um, a lady was here today and she was diagnosed for her third time 
of breast cancer coming back. And um, she was just absolutely devastated. I mean, you can imagine. And so she said, I pulled her into my office. She was just bawling, just horrific. And she said, I told her about this new thing that we had just gotten. The letters had literally just come that day. And she said, I'm gonna give you two letters just because, you know, you've been diagnosed three times with breast cancer. She thought she deserved two letters. So she sent her home with two letters. She didn't think she'd ever hear anything more about it. I think the next day or two, the lady came back in and she said, Regina, could I talk to you for a minute? And she said, sure, honey, come into the office. And she said, I just want you to know that um, I was gonna go home and kill myself that night. I was gonna take my life because being diagnosed for the third time, I had nothing to live for and there was no reason to go on. And I got home and I opened one of your letters and that got me through. And I just thought, wow, that's the impact this organization has. So I encourage you, if you're at one of our women's ministries events and you have an ability to write letters, write a letter, write five letters, write 10 letters, write as many letters as you can. If you're not at one of those events and you just feel compelled, go online, get this address. I have it right here, Girls Love Mail 193. Blue Ravine Road, Suite 120, Folsom, California. You can address them yourself. I make my own envelopes. I make my own little cards. There's nothing right or wrong that you can say in them. Just send a word of encouragement and then those will get passed out by the Girls Love Mail people and they will get them to the right person. Believe me, it makes a difference. It made a difference for me and it will make a difference for hundreds of other women too.